Hello everyone. So we want to make the medicine reminder app. I wanted to keep it simple and also want to be able to load our app or deploy our app onto the our my our smartphone and Android phone. So in order to keep it simple, suppose this is our uh, screen, our Android screen. The thing I want is simple very very simple we'll have say two buttons so this is button one and this is button two okay and this if i press this this basically starts our cycle so we have a, a schedule like say 6 a.m and maybe say 9 p.m so so we need to be able to look into this schedule and uh, and keep that going on as a as a say loop forever maybe and if i just want to exit out of that we also will have a stop button so this is our basic app that's we want to do in the in this basic python uh, uh, video series and in order to achieve this this is our goal right we need a few things like our skills or new ideas that I haven't covered before or some knowledge. So one of the things we need definitely which could use is the time module. And here, the time module, so we want to be able to go into this schedule list and be able to pick up and say, I know I want to be able to know the time and also be able to compare the time with this one of these and say okay uh, this is already 6 a.m so oh, let us uh, ring the bell so so we'll use time module to will help us we can actually definitely need to know the time so at least we'll use we can also use it to format the time the way we want so the comparison is easier so second thing we also uh, we want to be able to uh, use some kind of a graphical graphical user interface gui so we will look two things uh, we will look the python has come so with the tkinter already it's a basic thing so we'll start from there and learn simple stuff in both cases we we'll learn very very basics so and we'll use uh, kiwi so kiwi will be our final uh, gui toolkit that we'll use but we'll start with tkinter so and third thing we also need to be able to whenever you have a graphical user interface like that without so it has to keep redrawing the screen every like a uh, moment to moment so that the display is uh the display is happening uh, so so and we also need to be able to look at the time right this has to keep on going this event needs to keep on going without obstructing this event so we need to be able to somehow keep drawing the screen this buttons and keep them alive and now without hanging that we're able to do some kind of these checks going on in our background so we need to be able to split our task into small bits so we need to be able to use so threads we can have multiple parts in our program which which can run independently but they run in the same process they are not independent programs they run in the same process but they are small small pieces so in that way we our gui can run without being uh hanging or anything we'll discuss that one so that's our third one and fourth one so we need to deploy it on android right we'll use bulldozer for that uh, so bulldozer helps us to automate this process and it basically uses python for android package and uh, so we'll see how to do that so today uh, we will just look at this part the time module we want to learn time module so we have this schedule right and things we want is we we need to be able to know the time and we need to be able to compare right i know the time what is the time and i pick up the time and i look in my schedule if it exists 
basically a simple and in operation right to do that we can use simply the time module very simple if i look at the what are the things available different classes and you know, different functions that we can use so one we can look at is the local time and then we can also look at ascii time and we'll mainly use this string format time uh, let us look at time dot ASCII time in order to get an actual time I can index right I can 0 1 2 3 you know and so on and from my from left maybe say minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 I can do an indexing like that and this is what I get now if I make the conversion happen from say 24 hours clocks to a.m. p.m. maybe we just do a modular operation and we'll get the time and then we can compare it with uh, our our schedule right so that is one way now another thing we have also is the uh, local time so which basically gives us this all these attributes what does it mean is i can do things like in any of these different attributes that i have i can i, I can do dot that attribute and get it can have an hour or time minute you know seconds and then i can construct i can do can do a string uh, conversion and uh, prepare the time the format that we want instead of all that we can use time dot time so this one is really neat for our purpose i believe because this see if you look at this this is format only thing we need to use here is uh this the format now optionally as a you can as a make a comma tuple like the time tuple that that just show you the local time it gives a time tuple so we can and it returns as a string which is what we want so for for our comparison and the string format time so these are the formats available each of the, them we can pass as a string or as a combination and depending upon what we pass we'll get the output if i just put as a string percentage capital y i'll get the year so let us try so time dot if i do something like that percentage y uh, i get the year we what we want is something like we need say we need this guy right we need the 12 hour clock that is the format that we'll use am pm and we also need this for percentage p uh, which gives me am and pm and then we also want the minute right 0 to 59 so, so we have our minute and am pm so let us see how we can do it so this one we need just it, it is say three o'clock and we need it and i also need this p so it's coming close to where we want and then i can make it better maybe like that and this now if i compare with our thing so we have this uh now i can do a comparison of this right i can add something like this guy in sch at the moment it's false because the time this is not the time either the present time, the local time here whenever it is satisfied it will give us a true and depending upon this we can go our alarm off right so now uh so this is that's it for now and uh, so we will look next next we can actually look at uh, the, the threading module in the in the next session thank you thank you for watching bye bye